to do dramatic portraits anywhere. Gusto mo yun, di ba? Hi guys, this is Jiggy. I'm a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to my channel. This channel is about my photography life and wherein I talk about tips and tricks that I've learned through the years and sometimes a few gear reviews. In this particular episode, we will be talking about how we create dramatic portraits anywhere. In case you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. All you have to do is click the subscribe button and while you're at it, click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And a simple follow in Instagram would be greatly appreciated at Jiggy Alejandrino. So before we get into the actual shoot, I want to discuss with you guys some of the things that we will be using for the shoot. Well, the first one, the first light that we're going to use is a Photix Noada R3 or R4. Those are really nice LED lights. We're actually using it now while we're filming this. That's why I can't show you. But it's a really nice circular round light that I can control the color temperature and the power. And it gives beautiful soft light. At the same time, we will be using this. This is the Photix M180. This is a pocket monster. Got a CRI of, of 97. You can change the color temperature, you can change the power, and you'll be surprised on how powerful this light is. You will see it later. Camera that I will be using will be the Sony A7R3. The lenses, 85, the 85 1.8 from Zeiss, the Zeiss Batis, and the 135 2.8 from Zeiss 2, the Zeiss Batis 135 2.8. So, uh, as you said, it's basically creating dramatic portraits anywhere. If you can see, this is a mess. This is not how our studio normally looks like, but since we're filming, all the gear is here. People are editing here. And our model today, Nice, is actually one of the, one of the videographers that we decided to shoot. She's actually the girlfriend of the main videographer, the guy behind the cam. Doesn't she look good? She does, obviously. Makeup by what, the one and only Gold Magtoto. You gotta see her and you gotta see her work in Instagram. It's at Lady Gold Magtoto. No, I'm just kidding. It's at Gold Magtoto. Check out her work. Fantastic, fantastic makeup artist. Okay, so what are we gonna do today? We're gonna shoot um, nice with just one light in this mess and to create a beautiful portrait. What are we gonna use? This one. This is the Noada R3. It's a it's basically a portable LED light that gives you control over power and color temperature. And this one I think is rated at about 95 or 97 CRI. But that, of course, the higher the CRI, the better the color rendition will be. If you notice, we've got all ambient light on. As of now, we can actually turn it off. But we will see, even if we don't, even if we don't turn off the ambient light, this light should be more than powerful enough to overpower it. There we go. I'll set it at 5600 so that when I set my camera, it's going to be at 5600. But I'll make the power, let's say, at 100%. By doing that, there's actually a principle here. Let's get a little bit technical. There's such a thing called the inverse square law. The inverse square law is that when the light is closer to the subject, the fall off is actually faster. So by having this light so close to the subject, aside from making the light even softer, it's going to create such a dramatic fall off that the contrast will be so high and we should be able to kill the background there. <laughs> so I'm using an A7R Mark III and I have the 135 2.8 from Zeiss. It's a Zeiss Batis 135. And I'll set my camera, of course, my white balance. I'll set to 5600. And I'm shooting at ISO at aperture priority. My ISO will be put on auto. And this is all I have to do. Come, come, look at this. Look at this, without even doing anything. Come closer. Look at the back of the camera. This is what we're gonna be doing. My exposure compensation is at zero. So that's basically what the camera sees, correct? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna expose for the highlights. When we expose for the highlights, all I have to do is do this to my exposure compensation. And there you go. You've got your dramatic portrait. So what I would do since nice is actually a little bit thin, Nice, can you put your shoulder towards me? This one, left shoulder pointed towards me a little bit more. All right, then now I can move my light the way I want it. 
Eyes going here, eyes here, here, here. Chin down a little bit, open your mouth, part your mouth a little bit. Okay, the most important thing is you see the eyes, it should always be in the center. The eyeball should always be in the center here. Notice, look here, looks very awkward, right? Look here, looks very awkward. Look here, there, looks a lot better. So let's try it, look at that. Nice, part your lips a little bit. Very nice. And we can adjust accordingly. Look at that. Dramatic portraits anywhere. We could even play around with that. Look, yeah, that's it, hold that. Okay, part your lips a little bit, chin down. Nice, a little bit more intense, whatever you're looking at. Stare at it a little bit more intently, nice. Open your mouth a little bit. So just by moving the, the light in the back, we created that nice silhouette already of her, right? But again, let's go back. The dramatic portrait, maybe this shoulder towards me. Yeah, eyes here. And then just put it flat on her face there like that to remove a little bit of contrast. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, I love it. There we go. And you notice I can fix my exposure the way I want it just by merely, but by merely fixing my exposure compensation. Don't move your face, your eyes towards the right a little bit. Not too much, just a little, there we go. Chin towards the left a little. Nice, chin up. Look at that. Okay, that was shot with the Noada R4. What we'll do now is turn this one off, remove it, and we'll shot, shoot everything now with this tiny M180. Let's turn off the light and see what we can do. See, here's the nice thing about shooting. All these things you can control. You can control the light outside, you can just turn this off, so you don't necessarily have to shoot with that. So, okay, look at this. When you look at this scene, look how far the light is, look at how much spill you're getting all over the room. So if I'm gonna shoot that now, you're gonna get light even in the background. Just like that. So you'd want to get a little bit of drama. How do you control now the spill of the light? Just by moving closer, move closer. Now, see, it's actually, it's not, it's not necessarily that soft, not as soft as the R4, but it's good enough. Can you go back to your profile again? Give me your back. With this now, since, can you go in a little bit closer? All of a sudden, can even get the flare if you want to. And again, just via exposure compensation. But this light actually works well as a pair. Can I borrow this one? Okay, so this one is set at 100%, and this one is set at 15%. So I'll probably put this one at about 70%, and keep this one at 100 so we're gonna do standard beauty light. Look at that. Hold it, please. Okay, when you're doing standard beauty light, the closer it is, the better. There we go, see? How does that look? Give me a little bit of angle, smile. Yeah, relax in front of the camera, maybe the shoulder again. Yeah, there we go. Nice, very nice, look at that. Nice, very nice. Actually, I find the lower light a little bit too strong, so maybe we'll just do a ratio of one is to two, bring this down to 50%. Or maybe 40 is fine. There you go. Nice. Look at that. Standard beauty shot. Don't you just love it? Look at that. Open your mouth a little bit. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Chin going here. Good makeup. Gold. Love it. You like it? It's nice. So now we can play around a little bit more. Who wants to shoot? See, that's how simple it is. It's a very, very simple thing that you could play around with. Oh yeah, and can I have my beauty light? There, can I have some beauty light? There, perfect. Okay, so again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Don't forget, please follow me on Instagram. It's at, at Jiggy Alejandrino. Next video. Oh, let's shoot some more. Oh, can you shoot? Oh, guys. Guys, enjoy.
The nice thing about learning how to light is that look, everybody now can take fantastic photos because again, photos is about light. That's the secret.